I love Conway's Game of Life. What's that, you might be asking? Well, according to Wikipedia, Conway's Game of Life, also known simply as Life, is a cellular automaton device. Uh, actually, let me just show you. The Game of Life consists of a grid with cells that can be either dead or alive. Each turn, every cell checks the cells next to itself, and depending on how many of them are alive, they will either die, stay alive, be revived, or stay dead. This might seem completely arbitrary and random, but if you actually create a pattern of cells, the result will be incredible. You can make a glider or a sailor that can move around, a bomb that expands and then disappears, or a glider cannon that actually creates gliders. But you might have realized that the last clip for the glider cannon looked a bit different. That's because this is not a program made for Conway's Game of Life. This is Minecraft. Unmodded, no plugins, just a data pack that uses vanilla commands. But before playing around with it too much, let's go through the process of making this and then take a look at the finished product. To begin with, I had to plan out everything. I've made Game of Life before in Python, but Python is way more usable as an actual programming language. So this is gonna be pretty challenging. Here's how it should work in the end. When you place an item frame somewhere, it's gonna replace the block below it with black concrete and an invisible armor stand, which would represent an alive cell. Those armor stands would then spawn armor stands on the white cells next to them, because they also need to check their neighbors in case three of them are alive so they can be revived. Finally, all armor stands will check the amount of alive neighbors and act accordingly. Yeah, this is not gonna be easy, but let's do this. I started out by giving the player a way to spawn cells with item frames. This was pretty easy, just change the block below, spawn a not so invisible yet armor stand and kill the item frame. Then I implemented a clear function that just kills all armor stands and replaces the block below them with white concrete, which are the dead cells by the way. Also pretty easy. The one part that did cause some problems had to do with spawning armor stands on dead pixels. No, the problem is not checking for the block, there's a command for that. But let's assume this case. If all the live cells spawn an armor stand on the dead cells next to them, there's a chance that the armor stands will overlap. And since all armor stands execute commands, this would ruin the performance over time, since the armor stands would just get more and more. The solution is to kill all but one armor stand per cell, which is easier said than done. I ended up brute forcing my way through this problem by numbering all secondary armor stands and letting the lower number ones kill those with higher values on the same block. This assures that not zero, not two, not three or whatever, but one armor stand remains per dead cell next to the alive cells. So that was a bit complicated, but it's the only big issue. Checking for the amount of alive neighbors was pretty easy. I ended up doing this with a score that ticks up by one for every black concrete next to the cell. And then all I had to do was to apply the roots and that's about it. That's how I remake Conway's Game of Life in Minecraft. If you ever made the Game of Life before and played around with the rules, let's be real here, none of you actually did, you'll know that you can get some pretty insane results. For example, if you also revive cells with two neighbors, this happens. It's a tiny bit different, but if you do the same thing, but for cells with four alive neighbors, this happens. The pattern slowly grows and creates the seemingly random symmetrical structures. Even just progressing a single step completely changes the image into something unique, but still interesting. I'll have a download for this data pack and more importantly the world download, as well as instructions on how to use this in the description. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.